Quick ship vid, um, dropping in after Tuesday, ended up going out into town. Had a few of my brothers and my mates watching the game. Um, had a couple of heated debates about whether that was embarrassing or not, which it was embarrassing, wasn't it? You know, which I'm just, it was embarrassing, I'm just not bothered. You know, it's like, it was, who am I embarrassed by? Do you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't give a shit. You know, whether me Chef U fan, whether a random Chef U fan thinks that's embarrassing, like, we're in Prem, got tonked, it's obviously as bad as it gets, 7-0. We were sort of having a bit of a laugh at 6-0, saying if it's 6-1, you know, like that, that, that can happen at Champions League type of thing, but when you get to 7, 7's like madness, isn't it? Dallas apologised to fans. The, the thing is, with, with Man City or any club, I mean, they are obviously as elite as it gets and they're absolutely on fire at the moment. Once you give them a foot, not even a foothold, it's like they're like wolves out there smelling blood. So it's. It, the wolves smell blood, I don't know. I know. Do sharks smell blood? It doesn't matter, does it? They smelt the blood and they just went for us all, all out and all over as like a rash. Unbelievable performance from them, in fairness. We had 10 minutes, I'd say, in the game where we created a couple of chances. Dallas hit post. Uh, Roberts went on a bit of a run, and that was about as as far as it went. Furpo did something quite nice with on chest. Do you remember that? Uh, so they're the three things that I can sort of remember. Furpo pulling it out of bag, the Wanderer. Uh, I thought Raf throwing his arms up a bit and stuff, but, you know, it must have been frustrating for all involved. Lorente a bit sloppy at times, but it's because there was, we were so penned in, you know, it's like, it's hard, how do, you, how do you get out of that? We got tonked, but we move on now. So we go on to Saturday um, against Arsenal, which is now a huge game. And then we're not, we've not been blessed with the squad selection that you'd want as well. So Shackleton's out with an Achilles injury and James is out with uh, something wrong with his adductor muscle, which your guess is as good as mine. I'm sure other channel will know what that is. It's, World class physio. So there's a lot of players out injured now, isn't it? And everybody's going to talk about squad size and stuff, and I obviously agree. But to some extent, you know, the players that we did have, the Costas of the world, you all, well, a lot of you wanted rid of. So I said at the start of the season when you all wanted rid of people, you got to be careful what you wish for. I didn't want Pov to go, and I didn't want Costa to go. I think the squad is better for them being in there. I don't think Dan James out is such a miss, really, but obviously it's not ideal if we've not got Rodrigo and, and Bamford back, because then you just, you know, you go back to, you know, you revert back to type and Roberts can sit in, Rafinha out wide, Harrison out wide, and then Bamford up top. Uh, obviously got Click still wandering about, Forshaw, Dallas, so it, they're, they're all still in there. Um. And Furpo's been playing well, so I'm not even bothered about him being left back anymore. Cock's back, but he didn't say whether he'd start or not. So, I mean, I don't think Cock will start, but, you know, it's the only positive out of it. Uh, Bales had spoke quite a bit, really, on, on the last game. He got asked at Sky Sports if he thinks he... It, can can he be sacked? And his response was, do you think I'm, there's a coach that can't be sacked? Who is unsackable? Do you think I'm so vain that I think I can't be sacked? Which is the else are all over it, pretty mint comment really. But I mean, I can't, I couldn't believe anybody sort of suggesting if if that had been Norwich beating us seven nil, I'd have asked, I'd I'd have been asking questions. But you know, it, it is Man City; they can do that to anyone. Uh, you know, the twatted Man U a few years ago, and they weren't even as good as they are now. So, uh, Bielsa also said that City is the worst game, obviously, of the season, and then Chelsea is the best performance of the season. And he has confidence that we will play more like the game against Chelsea than we will against the game against City. And he's totally focused on us and not anybody else. And that he'll fight it out to the end of the season. Which worries me a little bit. I'd rather he just want another year out of Bielsa really. Keep building. Um, but yeah, I'm not too downhearted even though it was a battering. Um, and it wasn't nice to watch. 
<laughs> but I sort of signed out at one point. Uh, just got pissed. But yeah. Um, there's been more Phillips talk again, and people sparking it with the injury, um, and saying that it's you know he's trying to is he trying is he, is he causing a rift? Is he trying to push his way out? Which I'm not on board with. He came out didn't he and said that he's not. So I'm only inclined to believe him. Bielsa said there's no problem. I'm just inclined to believe him. It's easier to believe him. Carlton Palmer said reckons that his head's been turned by big clubs. He says it's hard for your head not to be turned. Jamie Redknapp said something's not right. But I think it's a lot of media hype. I think they do this a lot where they're looking for the pantomime. Yeah, it's not the villain, is it? But the pant you know, they're looking for this seeing through the cracks and trying to un you know, wake something up out out of a lot of bullshit really. And they what they do is they pick someone and they go for them. So like when um they they've started on Benitez now, haven't they? Because, you know, they get rid of whoever you know the, the the get rid of a manager i can't think of it who has been sacked now but they're all over him like a rash did it to Mourinho. got in on him he's all like the, the problem at the club he's problem at man united to get rid of him then it's ollie isn't it? so ollie gonna solskjaer he's getting hounded by press and thank god i enjoyed every moment of that like but that's just what they do and then he goes so they go shit we need to fill a void so now it's benitez so you know they weren't talking about benitez in trouble before Solskjaer got bomb, but then Solskjaer's out, gone. Nobody's got all to talk about. Bang! Like, right, let's do Benitez. He's next on the line, and they—they're the ones that get him sack. So, because there's been nothing come from the club even remotely to suggest that Bales is unsafe. And even after the seven-nil twatting, I didn't did not think Bales is not safe in this job. So he's not unsackable, and I'm not saying that. I agree with what he said. If there isn't a coach that can't be sacked. Who is unsackable? Do you think I'm so vain that I think I can't be sacked? Which is right. Because if he thought he couldn't be sacked, he wouldn't give a shit, would he? That, you know, what's on the line? You know, there's pride on the line, there's everything on the line. But yeah, Arsenal on Saturday. Arsenal are obviously playing quite well. Um, they're up and down, but they've made it into the top four. They beat West Ham quite convincing the other night. It's going to be a tough game. But I'll back the boys as always. Let's go 2 1. Uh, I'm going to leap scorers out of it. No, I'm not. Fuck it. I've got Lorente. Uh, Lorente and Harrison. Come on, let's have it. Yes. Uh, if you want to spot my music and that, all links are below. I've got my ship merch. got my membership channel. It's 99p a month. It enables me to do these quick ship vids. Yes, in a bit.